to everyone welcome to ltx classes the hindu analysis in this analysis videos we are going to cover the very important prelims oriented articles clear so everything that are which, which are very relevant for upsc examination are going to be covered in this prelims oriented series clear so uh, please stay tuned with us for more number of videos see the date 17 8 2022 and the articles are going to be dealt by srinivas clear okay let's focus on our today's articles check our question consider the following statements clear consider the following statements and the first statement is dornier is an anti surveillance drone system anti surveillance drone system drone dro and your drone clear dornier is an anti surveillance drone system clear and second one is india it is convention to give naval vessels to the to the neighboring country is clear so these are the things see only one okay only two and c both and d none clear see Consider. so the answer when you see the yesterday's articles you can clearly get that dornier is not an anti surveillance drone but it is a surveillance aircraft so answer is first one is wrong and second one in india it is convention to give naval vessels is this a convention that the nation has to follow as everyone in earlier governments also done this no it is not a convention even so the answer is a clear d none generally to improve the relations between the nations india generally gives these items like aircrafts or any small ships vessels so and so according to the need based of those countries to have the greater relations and then and to deepen the relations between the nations clear so i think i have made this clear right so answer is d none let's go for yesterday's polity question see question consider the following statements clear consider the following statements first one president is bound on the advice of council of ministers clear president is bound on the advice of council of ministers and second one governor is bound by or bound on the advice of state council of ministers clear so president is bound and governor is bound so you have to go with the answer and here the options being only one only two c both d none clear so so here the answer is yes statement 1 is absolutely true clear president is bound on the advice of 
council of ministers that is true but at the same time governor is not bound on the advice clear answer is only one sir how can you say that governor is not bound actually for the president only it is written under see uh, in 42nd 42nd constitutional amendment act has done some amendments to the constitution and after that 44th constitutional amendment act has come in this the word cabinet the word cabinet was added right so just like when the word cabinet was introduced it also put mandatory on the president to listen to the advice of council of ministers clear in 44th constitutional amendment act this was added president is bound on the council of ministers the same provision itself says it does not apply to the governor clear so for governor to mandatorily listen the words of state council of ministers it is not important clear so only one is the option second one is wrong clear yes see our articles to be explored chinese tracking vessel reaches sri lanka port supreme court to examine the validity of child gang rape laws african cheetah still stuck in transit practice of talaq e hasan not so improper by the supreme court clear so these are the very important relevant upsc prelims oriented articles that have appeared in the hindu today let's discuss these articles one by one in a very neat clear manner so this is our first article it has covered in the front page of the hindu that is chinese tracking vessel reaches sri lanka port the same issue we are referring from last one week what actually happening india got intelligence information clear so first of all this article is very important from gs to international relations why because here relations between the nations of india sri lanka and a third country that is china also has come right so this makes the trilateral relations so see here india got special information regarding what regarding the as chinese vessel is entering into sri lankan port sri lankan port that is hamban tota clear hamban tota port hamban tota port actually this was leased to china for 99 years actually this was leased to china for 99 years as sri lanka unable to pay the amount that china has invested in that hamban tota port clear yes of course there is one term in international relations that is called debt trap diplomacy clear debt trap diplomacy sir what is debt trap diplomacy under debt trap diplomacy the countries which are having huge amounts take up the projects which are very unviable which are very unviable sir what is the meaning of unviability just take there is one business if you invest 1000 rupees you are going to get every month a profit of 100 clear so every month a profit of 100 which seems that within 10 months you are going to recover your capital clear so this is a viable project what if if you are investing 10000 let's take and you are going to reap the benefit of only 10 then are you going to wait 1000 months to get your capital back this is the most unviable projects china actually indulges in these projects clear so let's take to construct a port it might require 200 to 250 million dollars clear dollar 200 to 250 million dollars but china actually invest somewhere around 1 billion to 2 billion which makes the whole projects as unviable means we cannot we cannot hope for any profits that going to reap or get back the capital within a reasonable time clear so sri lanka face the same issue 
China invest uh, one billion dollar so that it can modernize the Hambang Tota port to the to the greatest level. But what is the what is the traffic in that port? The traffic means the number of vessels that are arriving and the number of transactions that are happening in the port. Both are mismatchable. So Sri Lanka does not have any option but to lease the same port for 99 years to China. This is what that happened in the background, right? So China wants to use each and every of its opportunity to increase its power in Indian Ocean region. The main intention of China investing in that port is to, to uh, put its naval vessels in that port so that it can control the activities of Indian Ocean. It is the views of China. But let's take for India. In India's consideration, India is the regional security provider. What is the role that India holds? India is holding regional security provider for any security chances in Indian Ocean. Those are catered by India. So if it is going to lose the status of regional security provided, none of these small countries which are neighborly holding uh, the relations with India are going to reduce it with India. Few powers want to maintain relations with India as India is a growing superpower. Clear as India is going to become the superpower as it is in the growth stage. Most of the nations willing to increase the rapport with India. But if the same was checked by any other superpower, then the capacities of India are going to get doubt at international stage. This is what happening at present condition. China is actually challenging the power, the monarchical power of India in the Indian Ocean. Yes, of course, India holds the monarch power only in Indian Ocean as there is no country to challenge its powers. So this is all the issue. Uh, so India got information that Chinese vessels are reaching this port but China uh, initially said no and Sri Lanka also said no but when the full information has come Sri Lanka accepted yes there is going to be the presence of the Yuan Wang that vessel clear so this is basically a scientific research vessel but see Sri Lanka is telling that Chinese vessel is arriving to have some replenishments clear we are going to have the logistical agreement we have logistical agreement on that basis uh, Chinese naval vessels can come to Sri Lanka for replenishment of both medicines and for any of the smaller purposes clear yes and in the same way the Chinese vessel is going to arrive Sri Lanka as India raised the issue Sri Lanka spoke with China and it has asked China to not to go any of the scientific activities that are unknown to any of the countries means here India will check each and every activity of Chinese naval vessels through its satellites and in the same way China has to allow for the proper verification and surveillance so that nothing is going to be happen against the interests of India clear Sri Lanka also done the same here clear Sri Lanka accepted and immediately before the arrival of these Chinese tracking vessels India and we have discussed that yesterday India gave the Dornier aircraft clear India gave the Dornier aircraft for surveillance pressure okay for surveillance purposes India has given the Dornier aircraft then what is the relations the recent relations between uh, India and Sri Lanka and during the times of crisis India donated or given somewhere around dollar 3.8 billion to Sri Lanka then what is the Chinese extension China has given dollar 2.8 billion to Sri Lanka and recently it has given the grant of dollar 
74 million clear dollar 74 million was given as grant and 2.8 billion by china to sri lanka but india has given totally of 3.8 billion during its economic crisis situation and during the covid pandemic times also india has given various things regarding the medical users clear yes these are the relations as of now and if more will come we shall be discussing in length clear as of now this is very sufficient for you to understand the international happenings clear which are very relevant for india fine then we shall go for our next article coming to our next article supreme court to examine the validity of child gang rape law clear here we are going to discuss few important ipc sections let's focus on this and let's focus on what is the petitioner's argument and what is the supreme court examination clear the article is very important from gs2 polity perspective clear gs2 polity perspective clear yes so on that note check <coughs> see regarding the concept of rape which is very grave violence and yes of course it is a serious criminal offense right rape is a serious criminal offense if any person indulges in this criminal activity according to the laws right now the minimum punishment being for individual it is 20 years of jail punishment if the person of or the victim is a minor clear so minor is a girl who is less than the 18 years of age are considered as the minor girls clear so here the petitioner is asking regarding two sections in ipc that is ipc section 376 ab and ipc section 376 db clear so here see the examiner uh, see the petitioner is a person who right now getting the 12 years clear he is he is on a jail term he is in a jail term actually he got the life sentence the petitioner actually got life sentence and from the last 12 years clear oh he is in jail condition so he is asking regarding the validity of 376 ab and 376 ad first of all what is 376 ab 376 ab is a section where rape on a minor rape on a child and the child is under 12 years if the child is under 12 years the minimum punishment is 20 years clear and if the same offense if the person is if the victim is 12 years less than 12 years and if it is a gang rape then the punishment is going to be the capital then what is the capital punishment capital punishment is nothing but death sentence right so capital punishment is something that gang rape of a child under 12 years of age they are going to get the capital sentence clear so yes so here uh, sometimes the judges might also give something related to life imprisonment fine so what is that that is the life imprisonment most of the times they are going to get the capital punishment and sometimes they are going to get the life imprisonment also under section 376 db so here the the petitioner is asking what is the difference second one is going to be the gang rape first one is rape both are rape but of course the degree of uh, pain for the women is very different and trauma dangerous in gang rape but here the petitioner is asking if in the gang rape if it is done by the two persons in first case 376 ab individual person is going to indulge in that rape and 376 db what if two persons indulge in that rape it is considered as a gang rape and the persons persons are going to get 
life imprisonment or in most of the cases death also clear so here the petitioner is asking here in first case 20 years only in first case the punishment is 20 years but in second case it is going to be the capital or life imprisonment so the both section goes contradictory on articles 14 right to equality and article 21 that is right to life under right to equality here the clauses of uh, these sections goes against the equal principles clear but article 21 article 21 is right to life so here supreme court is going to examine the validity here supreme court is going to check the validity of these petitioners but before that here supreme court is clearly telling that reformation is yes one important aspect in jurisprudence in the jurisprudence what is jurisprudence the study about the justice is called jurisprudence clear so in jurisprudence it is not that giving punishment or inflicting some harmful punishments on the person who done that wrong clear it is not the issue the main issue for giving sentences or for giving punishments is to seek the reformation clear reformation of a person is greater than inflicting the very dangerous criminal punishments clear very dangerous punishments on the person these are the words of mahatma gandhi even mahatma gandhi clearly emphasizing on the part of reformation of the person is very important aspect clear so a number of judgments that are regarding the murder of a minor case often supreme court accepts that there is a chance of reformation of the convicted and commutation of death sentence to life imprisonment are also done by the supreme court what supreme court uh, actually doing in most of the cases when initially it delivers that the death punishment death punishment after review petitions and after checking the uh, conduct of the persons supreme court can uh, commute commute means it can decrease from death punishment to life imprisonment death punishment to life imprisonment these are the words of supreme court and even there is global scenario which says that here the examiner or the petitioner the petitioner actually referring the case to the european courts of human right where giving a chance for reformation should be done one can give capital punishment only in the case that if the time and necessities come the capital punishment can be removed against him if this is possible then only capital punishment should be given otherwise no court should hold the power to remove the life of the person in an arbitrary way clear so here if any person goes in life and he if he changes his motive and he is ready to transform himself and want to live a good beautiful life in the society he should be given a chance after some 20 or 40 years of imprisonment clear and death punishment should be given at rarest of the rare cases these are the things that are happening at the global level these are the words of petitioners to the supreme court and right now supreme court is going to have this examination and the validity of child gang rape laws clear yes then we shall move to our next article see this is the next article which is very important from gs3 environmental perspective clear so it is gs3 environment here you can understand there are see here it is going to discuss something related to the cheetahs african cheetahs still stuck in transit transit means in the movement clear then hold on see we give greater importance to environment clear we give greater importance to environment even our directive principles of state policy under article 48a provides for protection of environment 
and article 51a in fundamental duties also we are giving greater importance to environment right so as we are seeing that we just want to increase the environment and we just want to increase the bio diversity that india holds india holds rich type of biodiversity but because of dangerous uh, activities that are done to environment the biodiversity of animals are reducing but here when you observe it is to the mark of cheetahs which got extinct in india in 1952 by the time of 1952 cheetahs got completely extinct from india from that time india is willing to have the reintroduction of cheetahs into india clear so that is the translocation these words are very important clear that is the translocation trans means from one place to other location means here we are changing the location of india from one place to the other that is called the translocation clear translocation means movement of place from one place to the other cheetah is going to be translocated from one country to india so india actually spoke with african countries and with iran also iran and african countries iran negated of giving its cheetahs to india then india gone to speak with african countries and yes india selected namibia and namibia accepted giving of cheetahs to india on friendly relations clear yes then india got the opportunity of translocation of these cheetah to increase its biodiversity capacity is clear so it has chosen few national parks few national parks in india to translocate the same and of course india uh, uh, lastly concluded for kuno palpur clear kuno palpur forest reserve in madhya pradesh clear in madhya pradesh there is one national park that is uh, kuno palpur madhya pradesh it is actually holding few leopards clear so that national park already holds leopards clear yes but india got a deal with namibia on translocating the same <clears throat> and recently ministers also went to namibia to speak regarding and everything got okay but see namibia accepted in giving cheetahs by the time of august 15th where india is going to celebrate its 75 years of independence but unfortunately we failed to get back that cheetahs to india because of its administrative delays so here also when you observe the picture in that picture you can clearly see the african cheetahs or properly examining under proper medical conditions clear proper medical conditions and soon they are going to shift their base of cheetahs from namibia to india clear that kuno palpur forest reserve is very 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 lengthy forest reserve it can hold n number of leopards clear yes so india thought to have some 10 to 12 african cheetahs to have this clear but yes of course we accepted and when we asked for namibia it agreed in providing 35 cheetahs so that these cheetahs can become sustainable in near future only clear in near future only and we have thoroughly verified and we have not taken that are inbred inbred okay here in the article it has used one word that is in bred what is inbred inbred means having relations between uh, the family members having relations between the family members here if cheetahs are living in one colony if the same cheetahs are going to have the cross pollination in the same uh, same location they are to be treated as inbred generally inbred population holds genetical disorders india want india don't want to have this why because at international stage 
it might lose its prestige if any cheetah comes to india and if india fails to holds the responsibility of cheetah's protection it is going to face the international wrath india does not want to have this so india clearly verified for no inbred cheetahs should be taken only a proper genuine lineage of cheetahs are going to be selected for translocation or reintroduction clear so this is the official project this is the most prestigious project uh, project also in environmental sense clear so in this article you have to know uh, under various articles we are giving importance to environment and cheetah got extinct in india in 1952 as of now we are getting these cheetahs from namibia and we are going to place them in madhya pradesh in kuno palpur national parks clear yes so these are the very important prelims term that you have to remember then we shall go for our next article then look at our next article that is practice of talaq e hasan not so improper by supreme court clear supreme court here telling that there is some practice in uh, in islam culture that is called talaq e hasan and supreme court is telling it is not so improper that needs to be cancelled or so clear so here we can go for uh, the inference of this article first of all see this article is very important from gs to polity perspective clear gs to polity perspective before that you have to get clear over these are laws see the laws which covers marriage and divorce related are called personal laws so in india each religion takes its own view regarding the application of personal law which holds that muslims may practice their own culture hindus may practice their own culture or style let's take in uh, hindus hindus does not follow any agreement or rules or so and so we generally take the views of legality means see here on the application of divorce both male and female or the couple has to sign it that's it the divorce is completed clear but when you take islam in islam especially regarding the divorce there is some issues that are hovering around it clear so first of all you should know in islam culture divorce can be done in two ways clear divorce can be done in two ways the first one is nothing but the instant instant triple talaq triple talaq or simply talaq e bidat talaq e bidat clear talaq e bidat so under talaq e bidat it is also called as instant triple talaq clear so in instant triple talaq the person can go by telling the word talaq three times at a instantly or he can simply message or he can simply send the voice message or he can simply send it through whatsapp or normal message what it may be then itself it is called the divorce clear and the second one is not instant but in time procedural way clear so in time procedural way it actually takes and the mail has to go for telling the talaq every month once clear so he will be telling talaq he shall wait for one month and after that he has to tell again talaq and so at least three times three times means three months of time this is called talaq e hasan this is what our article is speaking clear fine so in 2017 what happened in sairo bano versus sairo bano versus union of india in 2017 supreme court clearly declared the illegality of instant triple talaq and supreme court ordered the male person to pay for the expenses of that woman clear as woman has come in uh, uh, recognizing you and she left all her parents assets and everything 
when she comes to you now it is your turn that you have to pay the same to the woman clear so this is the issue this is the issue that he is actually referring for but in talaq e hasan the female is given some time talaq 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 actually in instant triple talaq also the male person only can tell the talaq the females cannot tell the talaq to the males sir if females wants to go away from their marriage relationship what they has to follow there is some special practice that is called kula clear that is called kula kula means revocation of marriage kula means revocation of marriage under kula the female has to give back what the male has given to her by the time of marriage at the time of marriage male might be presenting something to female to impress her clear this is under the rules only right so the female has to return back the same to the male if she really requires kula kula is the thing where females actually raises the issue of the divorce with the male when they want to go with the kula they have to give all their things that the male has given if those things are not there then they have to approach approach the muslim personal law board okay under that they can go they under you see if kula is something that males has given or husband has given to her at the time of marriage if she does not holds that she can go to kadi that kadi is a court clear that court or if mutually agreed by the couple if mutual couples accepts that still the female can go for kula and she need not pay back the things that she uh, got at the time of marriage clear so here the female she is a journalist she raised here the petitioner is female journalist she is of islam culture she is saying the talaq e hasan is wrong then supreme court clearly raised the issue of kula as female holds kula in the same way male also holds talaq e hasan so that is not so improper as you are thinking clear so these are the issues that are circling around the concept of divorce clear so first of all you have to remember there is one case that happened in 2017 regarding saira bano clear saira bano versus union of india supreme court clearly nullified the practice of instant triple talaq as it violates article 14 article 14 refers for right to equality here right to equality is violated how it can be violated see right to equality gets violated as under talaq e bidar only and only females can go by calling talaq three times to the females then the revocation of marriage then itself exists clear but the same female cannot call for talaq three times to move away from marriage agreement clear the same issue is uh, we we are observing the same issue from the last one week why because see because of talaq issues and everything we can observe this is very important current affairs topic this is very important current affairs topic if female got talaq she has to she has to wait technically she, when she receives the agreement from the male if the male goes for instant triple talaq and after that he is not calling here uh, calling his wife to give the original equipment of or original letter of divorce technically she is in that marriage condition only but in the meantime the male can marry another girl these are their issues these issues needs to be controlled why because uh, two days back three days back in current affairs few articles have come regarding five years of saira bano case clear it is in 2017 right now we are in 2022 five years happened but till now mo- many of the female they did not get any official recognition from their husband that they left the marriage with her clear they simply called and they called the instant triple talaq three times and they left the issue with the females clear and still they are not getting any of the official documents that they require so that the females can go for any other marriage 
but the same rules are not applied to the males males can go for instant triple talaq and immediately they can marry another girl these are the rules these rules have to be curtailed to the extent that they should not discriminate on the basis of gender means gender based rules should not exist means as you are male you can do that as you are female you are prohibited of doing the same these things should not happen clear yes these are the things that we want to discuss we have covered very important articles okay let's look at our daily current affairs prelims based mcqs check our current affairs based current affairs based mcq consider the following statements clear consider the following statements see the first statement talaq e hasan is nullified under saira bano case clear saira bano case in islam females does not have any procedures to revoke marriage clear to revoke marriage so choose the correct option a only one b only two c both d none clear so look out the question consider the following statements talaq e hasan is nullified under sairabano case in islam females does not have any procedures to revoke their marriage clear yes so i wish everyone to participate in this current affairs question right and i have explained the article very detail right in very detail manner so that you can definitely answer this question please do participate and post your uh, answer in the comment box clear and let's now we shall go for our static mcq clear look for our static mc q clear yes c consider the following statements check the statements cbi is a statutory body and next cbi requires consent of states consent of states before before any investigation before in any investigation that happens in their respect to states in their respect to states clear so here cbi is a statutory body and cbi requires consent of the states before any investigation that happens in their respect to states clear so then here also choose the correct option only one only two both none clear so these are the question i wish everyone to participate and do solve these questions or generally i am coming with polity based mcq as of now immediately in static i am going to cover uh, polity and next so and so we can cover the other economy related art and culture and history everything shall be covered here clear yes so do participate don't worry you can answer this question just think logically and you can answer the question clear thank you we shall be discussing this question in our next analysis class means tomorrow fine